welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. Today I have got a recent skincare purchases for you. Um, basically I thought I would just talk you through some of the skincare bits that I've bought or that I've received in my birch box and possibly my pink parcel um, over the last, oh gosh, quite a few months now. Um, I've just kind of yeah, there's never, because I don't haven't bought sort of lots at a time, there's never been a time to sort of do a big sort of haul. Um, so I thought I would just wait until a few months have gone past and then I could just show you some of the things that I have been buying skincare wise. Um, I really love skincare and mm, I don't know, possibly more than makeup. I don't know, that's a bit controversial. Um, but I do really love like pampering my skin and having sort of pamper evenings and trying out new skincare and just yeah making my skin feel nice because obviously your skin is like the base that you put your makeup on so the nicer that you can get your skin looking the nicer your makeup's going to look so I will just kind of take you through really what things I've bought I haven't necessarily like used everything yet or tried everything out so this isn't going to be a review or anything it's just to tell you what kind of things I have been buying over the last few months um, so I will start with a couple of micellar waters. Um, micellar water is usually the thing I use to sort of take my makeup off and cleanse my face. I have got some other bits and bobs like the um, Clinique Take the Day Off uh, balm, which I do use sometimes as well. But micellar waters are just so easy to use. You put a bit on um, a cotton wool pad, wipe it over your face, done. Um, so the first thing I tried was this uh, Garnier skin active micellar oil infused cleansing water which as you can probably see I have used quite a bit of um, so it's just got this oil um, like in the micellar water but basically because of science I'm not giving you a science lesson it separates so before you use it you just have to shake it up a bit um, I was a little bit worried that it would be it's like greasy because of the oil um, it is for dry and sensitive skin I do kind of have slightly sensitive skin I think um, not tech not really dry though so I was a little bit worried that it may be like too greasy or oily for me but actually it hasn't been at all it feels really really like moisturizing on your face um, so I think it'd be nice for winter like when your face gets a little bit sort of drier and angrier and stuff um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed using it. It takes my makeup off really well. Um, it says removes even waterproof makeup, cleanses and nourishes, no rinsing. So you don't need to rinse it off or anything. And it says you can use it on your face, eyes and lips. I pretty much use it everywhere. Um, it's lasting me quite a long time. I mean, I use it like twice a day. Um, and I bought this quite a while ago now. So um, yeah, it's it's kind of going. I don't You don't need to put much on a cotton wool pad to use it. So that was that one. I've also picked up a different one to try one that when that one's finished. Um, it's another Garnier one. Um, this one is a... Where is the... Oh, it hasn't got... <laughs> I thought it had like a scent or something, but I don't think it has. This one's for combination and sensitive skin. Um, again, like, I don't really know if my skin is combination. It's just kind of normal. Like, it, it's not dry. It's not greasy it's kind of just in the middle um but as i said i do have sensitive skin so i'll be interested to see what this one is like it says removes makeup cleanses and mattifies um i don't know why i thought it had aloe aloe vera in it but i don't think it has um anyway it's the one with the green lid um i've tried the one with the pink lid and there's a couple of others i'd like to try at some point as well um and I think they've got some new like cleansing milks out. I'd really like to give those a go. Um, but for now, yeah, these are the two that I am use, going to, well, using, going to use. Um, I've also picked up a little while ago now the Pixie uh, Glow Tonic because I have heard so many people talking about this and recommending it. And every time I asked like, oh, can anyone recommend a toner? This is what got recommended. It's not the cheapest toner by any stretch of the imagination um but i've been using it well it's kind of down to about there now um so i've been using it a little while and i really do like how it feels on my face um again i just pop a little bit on um, a cotton wool pad thing and then just wipe it over my face 
I think it would be really good if it had like a pump so you could spray it um, because I think I'm using quite a lot doing it the way I'm doing it but I don't know how else I would really use it. Um, so it's got 5% glycolic acid and it's an exfoliating toner so it's got like these little bits in it I'm not really sure what they are but I think they're meant to be there. Um, paraben free, not tested on animals, it's got the little bunny thing. Um, so it says it gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells, revealing healthy glowing skin for all skin types. And I do think it's helped, it has made my skin feel more sort of glowy and a bit brighter and stuff. Like that's one problem I get with my skin is that it can feel quite dull and quite, yeah, just not, it doesn't have much of a glow to it. And I do think that the glow tonic is helping. Um, I will link as much as I can down in the down bar so that if there's anything that interests you, you can go and like take a peek and see what you think as well. But yeah, as I said, it's not it's not cheap. Um, and if I'm gonna use it as fast as I'm using it, I don't know if I can justify it, but it's certainly something that I'm kind of glad that I've tried and probably will use again. Something that I have picked up from Origins, which I've actually used before, I've used quite a few bits from Origins, I really love their skincare, um, but this is the second one of these that I've picked up, and it's the Origins No Puffery Cooling Roll-On for Puffy Eyes. So it comes in this little box, and then it's just like a little blue, bluey green tube with a roller ball on the end, and you just roll it under your eyes. Um, as I said, this is my second one, so I really do love this product. It's so nice, like I get very puffy eyes and very, um, I get migraines and things and they really affect like my eye area and how it feels. So being able to just roll a bit of this on, um, I know that's not necessarily what it's for, but it does just feel like it cools them down. And I don't know, it's the sort of, I think the roll on action just feels very nice on your skin. Um, so yeah, it says pamper your peepers with this refreshing eye treatment. Bag banishing yeast extract extract helps visibly depoof puffs as it reduces the appearance of dark circles. I don't know like whether it's getting rid of my dark circles. I have really bad dark circles under my eyes. Um, but it certainly feels nice and it makes my eyes look, I think, nice. So yeah, again it's not a like cheap product, but it's one that I'm definitely like happy to invest in, although if you can recommend something similar that does the sort of roll on under the eyes um, that isn't so expensive, I am more than willing to try because, you know, anything to save a bit of money. But yeah, I really do like this um, Origins one. And then I also got a another Origins um, product in, I think it might have been my Birch box. Um, and it's something that I've seen some other like YouTubers talking about before and I thought, oh, I'd really like to try that. Um, but I hadn't got around to like looking at it yet. And it's one of their... Um, Rituality, rituality uh, Matcha Madness face masks. Basically it's a powder face mask so you have to mix it with water yourself to make up the mask and then put it on your face. This is the, um, it's got revitalizing face mask with matcha and green tea. Um, doesn't really say much about it. Do not drink. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't tried it yet because it's still in the packet, but I've heard really good things about it and I'm quite looking forward to having a bit of a pamper session. Although I don't know like whether you make up the whole, it doesn't say like whether you make up the whole sachet or whether that can last you like two masks or something. So I kind of see what happens, but yeah, I'm looking forward to using that because as I said, Origins are a good, good brand for me. I like them. So another couple of things that I received in, I think one was in my birch box and one was in the pink parcel that I get, they're both subscription boxes if you don't know, um, were these scrubs by Scrub Love. Now again, I have seen so much about these on Instagram, on YouTube, Twitter, like everywhere. Um, and I've seen them in the shops but I've never really bought them because I am terrible at doing any kind of like body scrub. Like, I do a lot of like face stuff, but always forget to do my body. So I just, yeah, I don't really invest that well in that kind of stuff because I know I probably won't use it. Um, but I'm really trying to like improve this and focus on like my whole body rather than my fa just on my face. So I've got the Hydrating Coconut Oil Body Scrub in Coconut Mango which sounds amazing. Um, and then the Invigorating Coffee Body Scrub 
in Coconut Affair. So they're both coconutty, which is great because I love coconut. Um, so this one, it says it's for normal to dry skin, deeply moisturising, skin conditioning and antioxidant rich. You get 50 grams, which I think is a pretty good like sample. Um, and then this one is antibacterial, deeply penetrating and instantly revitalising and is for normal to oily skin as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying these. Um, I've like seen so many people like put the like coffee body scrubs on the, their bodies and it, it looks really weird to be putting coffee on your body but it's meant to be really good for like cellulite and like invigorating um, your like blood supply to make your body um, sort of more glowy and stuff so yeah I'm looking forward to giving these a try although I'm not sure what the shower is going to look like especially after this one. <laughs> Okay, and then the last thing that I got in one of my subscription boxes was a cow shed uh, moisturising hand cream. It's a <laughs> cow pad moisturising hand cream. Um, cow shed is a brand that I've not really looked into that much, although I do know that they have sort of spas and stuff like that. Um, it smells really nice. Ooh, it does smell really nice. Um, I'm a big fan of hand cream. I use hand cream a lot, so I have a drawer that's pretty much full of hand cream because I get a, well, you get a lot in like um, subscription boxes and stuff, but also it's sort of gifts, and also I buy it because yeah, I love hand cream. Um, so yeah, it would be good to try like something from Cowshed because I've heard a lot of good stuff about them, and I love the way they kind of. Um, play on the whole cow thing, you know, like cow pat moisturising hand cream just is a bit silly and you know it makes you laugh but I would also love 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 to go to one of their spas um but let's let's try the uh, the old hand cream first and uh, then we'll go from there okay so I did a um a little boots order fairly recently because I had heard about some new releases that I wanted to give a try. The first thing I bought, which I don't know is if it's a new release, but I saw Meg talk about it on her channel, Meg Says. Um, it's a Garnier Ombre, Ombre Solaire New, oh it says new, New Sensitive Advanced for Fair and Sensitive Skin Protecting and Hydrating Face Mist in SPF 50. Now I am really rubbish at putting sun cream on, unless I'm like, if I'm going out say I was going to go to the beach or something, I would put sun cream on for that. But just like normal day to day, I don't really put SPF on, which is really bad. Um, and yeah, I saw Meg talking about this and basically it's a spray that you just spray on your face. Um, and it's SPF 50, which is the SPF that I would usually go to because I'm so blooming pale that I burn ridiculously quickly. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would like maybe make me put SPF on sometimes a bit a bit better like I'm trying to find a nice like um day cream that's got SPF in it so if you've got any recommendations then please let me know but yeah I just thought that this this might sort of improve my sun protection skincare thing so yeah I'll give that one a try and then the things that I had heard about that had come out were a load of stuff skincare things from Soap and Glory. I love Soap and Glory, I love their makeup, I love their like bath products, everything. Um, I haven't tried a huge amount of their skincare so I thought right I had a load of boot points that I hadn't spent for literally years um, so I thought right I'm gonna treat myself, I'm gonna buy the range and I'm going to give it a try, I'm gonna do a blog post about it and I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. So they've got quite a few bits in the like new range they have how many one two three they got five different face masks so the first one is this one which is the puffy eye attack under eye brightening hydrogel patches with puffy's technology whatever that is um yeah i like really struggle as i said with puffy eyes so i'm really looking forward to giving this one a try um so it's just two sort of little things that you put underneath your eyes, which I can imagine feel quite nice um, and cooling. Um, but they just say, it says it refreshes and revitalises tired, puffy eyes. So that's that one. There is then this one, which is a bright and beautiful party recovery radiance boosting mask. Um, it's got vitamin C, white flower, brightening complex with lotus flower, cherry blossom and rubus, I can never say that, 
Rubus tea extract for dull and lacklustre skin, which I really do get. Um, and this is like, this is a sheet mask. So you get one sheet mask and it's one of those ones that you kind of put on your face and look a bit odd um, for like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but it sounds really nice. And again, like dull lacklustre skin, it's hopefully gonna make my skin look lovely and glowy and much better. The next one is this one, which is the Fab Pore Skin Smoothing Pore Refining Mask with Blot-A-Lot technology. I think these must be technologies that Soap and Glory have made up. Um, white Willow Bark, Lemon Balm, Tea Tree, Lavender, Eucalyptus and Mint. So that sounds really nice. Again, this is a sheet mask. This one is a refreshing treat for oily slash combination skin. Um, and yeah, it's just the same. You pop it on as the sheet, pop, leave it on for sort of 20 minutes and chill out and hopefully it will refine your pores. I get really big pores like on my nose um, and I hate them. So it'll be interesting to see if this one works. Then you have got this one, which is a Speed Plump Super Hydrating Miracle Moisture Mask, including hyaluronic acid and pink Flower Power 3 Complex with Rosa Ragusa Safflower and Peony Extracts. Um, and this is for a treat for dry slash dehydrated skin. And this is a hydrogel mask, which I think is a bit like a sheet mask, but I'm not quite sure. It comes in two parts. The super moisturizing hydrogel mask is formulated to help smooth and hydrate the skin. So that sounds really nice. Um, and yeah, you get one mask in there as well. You've then got this one, which is a water peeling purifying declog mask with oil absorbing kaolin and clay powders, vitamin C and E, oolong tea, lentil seed, sage, chamomile and ginger extracts. You get two little like pots, um, it says it's a grime gripping peel off mask and you get a free scoop included. So it's for lifting out gunk and junk, mmm, yum. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure like, I'm guessing you, get, you can do it twice then because you get two pots. Um, so yeah, you pop it on your skin and then after a while you can peel it off, which I think is really satisfying. Um, so yeah, I'll be really interested to uh, see if that one works. And then the last thing isn't a face mask, but it is from Soap and Glory and it is a new skincare item. It is a bright and pearly radiance boosting cocktail for instantly revitalised brighter looking skin. Now I saw Flo de Force talking about this and she basically said that she wasn't quite sure what it was, whether it's a serum, a moisturiser, um, and I can kind of understand that because it doesn't actually say. Um, but it basically says wave goodbye to tired, dull skin and wake up bright and pearly. So that sounds good to me. It's got vitamin C in it and it's got these little like um, pearl ball things inside it, which obviously burst when you pump it out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to giving that one a try. Um, and I think I'm really, yeah, I'm really excited about the whole range. Like, like I said, I love Soap and Glory and their skincare I've heard is really good. So next up in my little skincare haul, I don't want to call it a haul because I didn't buy all this at once, this has been over a few months, um, but I went to Reading with my parents um, a little while ago and noticed that they now have a Kiehl's store. Um, I think it's actually been there for quite a while but I just haven't been to Reading for quite a while. Um, but Kiehl's is a a brand that I had heard a lot about, I had wanted to try but I didn't really know where to start and I didn't know which products to give a go to so I thought okay let's go in the store and chat to the people in there. Um, the staff in there were so helpful, the lady um, like came and checked how we were when we first came in. I said that I wanted to try some stuff but I didn't really know where to start. She did like um, a skin analysis where they could like tell like how much moisture your skin had in it. Um, and like, yeah, basically what type of skin that you had. Um, mine came back with quite a lot of moisture in it, so she said that it wasn't too dry, it wasn't that oily either. Um, so she said it was, yeah, kind of normal really. Um, she then like just went through a lot of the products, let me try them on my hands, um, explained what they, the different things did, what ranges that she thought would benefit me the most. Um, and yeah, she, they were just really, really helpful and and there was no like pressure to like buy everything she just really wanted to see like help and 
you know, give me some advice on what the best things to do were. Um, so I came away with this cute little bag because she said they didn't have any um, like carrier bags or anything, but um, they had these like, I don't know what you call it, a makeup bag. So it's like plastic and it's got keels here and the little K on the zip, which I thought was really cute. Um, and I decided to go for the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate because it's probably the product that I've heard the most about from their range. I've, I've heard so many people using it um, and really liking it and kind of comparing it a little bit to the, is it the Elizabeth Arden 8 Night Oil? 8 Night, oh, I can't think what you call it. Basically the one from Elizabeth Arden. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. She tried it on my hand, it felt amazing, like you only needed a couple of drops. Um, it smells really nice, obviously you put it on at night and it works on your skin while you sleep. Um, I went for, I think I went for the bigger box actually because I think it worked out like better value for money. So this one was £49.50 so it's not cheap and it's not the kind of thing that I would go and buy every day. Um, but this is... I don't tell you how much is in there. Oh, that's 50 mils. Um, but yeah, it's paraben free, mineral oil free, and it just felt really nice. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself. I finished my second year at uni. Um, I don't know. I just felt like I deserved a little treat. So, you know, I'd been saving up some money, and I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself to some nice skincare. So I got that, and then she very kindly gave me a whole load of samples of some of the bits that. Um, we'd been trying, she'd been trying with me. So um, I've got the turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. Um, it smelled a little bit funny, I think it's the turmeric, I can't say it, turmeric. Um, but basically it says our instant facial brightens and energizes the look of dull fatigued skin to restore a healthy looking rosy appearance. So like I told her that one of the things that I don't like about my skin is that it gets quite dull and fatigued. Um, so this is why she recommended this mask. So she was really sweet. She gave me a couple of samples of that so I can give it a try. Um, like actually on my face and then maybe decide if I want to purchase it at a later date. Um, we've then got the uh, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. This is the... Um, range of skincare that she said would be best for me because it says it's for all skin types um, and it's just a gentle toner to prepare, hydrate and comfort skin um, it's got, what's it got in it? apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, vitamin E um, and a non-alcoholic toning formula which gently removes surface debris and remaining residue while hydrating and comforting skin um, so yeah, that was, I mean this, she all tried tried all of this on my hand and I really liked it so it was really difficult to choose like which thing I was going to buy um, and then she's also given me a couple of samples of the ultra facial cream um, which says Greenland first ascent 24 hour everyday hydrating formula with extracts of glacial glyo glycoproteins and desert plants um, Again, like she tried it on my hand, it sunk in really quickly. It just felt really like nourishing and nice. Um, and so yeah, I'm really looking forward to just like trying some of these out actually on my face because it's a little bit different from trying it out on your hand and it's nice to just feel what it would actually be like to use it before you can buy it. So I would really, I would really recommend like going into a Kiehl's store if you've got one near you and like having a chat with the staff because the ones where I were, when I, where, when I went in were just so, like helpful and accommodating and just really wanted to help so yeah it was a really nice pleasant experience which you don't always get I think when you go into like a skincare place sometimes you get a lot of pressure to buy something and that can really put me off so I was really impressed with the Kiehl's in Reading. And then the last few bits of skincare that I have recently purchased were from Elemis. Um, this is a range that I think I've tried maybe samples of but I've never actually bought anything from. It's not a cheap range by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I think for a long time I didn't know enough about it to feel that I should invest money in like that kind of expensive skincare. But basically I went for a spa day at Champneys with my friend Katrina. Um, it's like a sort of little 
Hindu type thing because I couldn't go to her proper Hindu. Um, and while we were there, we went to a talk by a lady from the Elemis. They have like a little kind of shop um, at Champneys. And she was really, really lovely. Um, went through loads of their different products with us, let us like do our own facial with them, which was really good because um, we actually got to try them on our faces to really feel what they were like. But with each product, she explained um, like what was in it, what it did, does to your skin, how to use it. Um, and I just found it really useful and really interesting. And so once she had finished, um, we could sort of have a look around, ask her more questions. She was really helpful um, with like, you know, trying to find the right things for you and um, yeah, just working out like what would work best for you. So yeah, I ended up buying a couple of things. Um, I had kind of budgeted for the thought that I might get something anyway, so I didn't feel quite so bad. But anyway, so the first thing that I got was the Elemis Muscleys Active Body Oil. Um, this one, is, it's a relaxing body oil for tired legs and muscle tension. It's got rosemary, maritime pine, sea fennel, um, and it relieves, stimulates, and soothes. Now this one hasn't got like the nicest smell. Um, there was a couple of others that she showed us. There was like a sweet orchid one and a frangipan one, I think. They had really lovely smells and I was very tempted by them, but I had a chat with her. Um, and basically she said those ones are more sort of, you know, relaxing and nourishing and just sort of really nice, nice pampering. Whereas this one, the Muscleys one, is for doing a job. So it's for relieving muscle pain and things like that. And I get a lot of muscle pain with my ehlers Danlos Syndrome. Um, and I just thought, you know what, I think I'm going to go for this one because if I can find something that helps the muscle pain a bit then it will be worth it even if it doesn't necessarily smell that nice um so yeah i decided to get this one it's 100 mil um i can't remember how much it was uh well, that one's 35 um and yeah you really don't need that much it's an oil so it goes quite a long way so you only need a few drops to like rub into like tired aching muscles um she said it's also really good for people who like run and things like that so I got that one and then I also got this one which is their, it's part of the Elemis Advanced Skincare range and it's the Papaya Enzyme Peel. Um, I said that I wanted something to exfoliate my face because I'm not very good at doing like the exfoliation thing. Um, so there was this one or there was another one um, but this one smells amazing and it's really like smooth whereas you think an exfoliator is going to have you know like scrubby things, this one hasn't. Um, but yeah, it just it smells amazing. It's a little bit more pampering, so you have to keep this on your skin for a while and then um, wash it off to let it do the exfoliating. Um, so it's yeah more, more of a like pamper product, but it's got papaya, pineapple, and bladder rack, whatever that is, um, and it refines, revitalizes, and smooths skin. Um, but yeah, she let me try it on my hand, and it just it smells amazing, and it felt really nice to use as well. Um, so basically. When you bought two products, one of which had to be a skincare item, um, they had like an offer on where you would get a free gift. And so I'm a sucker for a free gift. So yeah, I got the two products and then you get this uh, makeup bag, which I think is really pretty. It's like this sort of silvery color with the turquoise zip and bits at the bottom. And then inside, you get, I think it was four products. So I got a an Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash, which is an anti-aging um, thing. I suppose to start early. Oh, I'm nearly 30, so. <laughs> um, so that's a skin smoothing cleanser. Uh, you also get a skin nourishing shower cream, which is said is body soothing. I've got a feeling I've used like something like this before, but I can't remember. You then get um, an Elemis Rehydrating Ginseng Toner, which is a refreshing facial toner in their advanced skincare range. I actually tried, there was an apricot toner, which was really, really nice. I liked that one a lot and I was kind of debating whether to get it, but because I've got the pixie one already, I didn't want to like, 
have too much toner basically um but it'll be nice to try this one i mean the sample sizes are really nice these are like 50 ml uh the shower gel is 100 ml and then the last thing in there is the elemis dynamic resurfacing serum a skin smoothing serum um i don't really know a huge amount about it because i don't think we talked about this one um but i always love trying new serums i think it's a sort of nice pam like more of a pampering thing to add to your skincare routine but also it's like the thing that maybe does the most to sort of most work to your skin um so i thought that was quite a good deal to get you know four samples plus the bag um free basically with the other products um so I was really happy with that and like if I, if anyone ever goes to Champneys and um, we went to the Forest Mere one I would really recommend doing the Elemis talk. There's also a Decle Oil one which we didn't get to do um, which I'd quite like to go back so that I can just do that one next. Um, but yeah I'd really recommend that. So yeah that is like all the skincare, well not all the skincare, I've bought other bits but that's all the skincare I've got to show you today that I have picked up sort of over the last few months. I hope you've enjoyed hearing a little bit about the skincare that I've picked up and that I'm starting to use at the moment. If you've got any questions about any of it, please let me know because I'm gonna start trying a lot of it soon. Um, so I might be able to do sort of blog posts about a little bit more about what it's actually like to use. Um, if you've got any comments about any of it, please leave them down below. Um, if you've got like a favorite skincare product in the things that I've shown you, or if there's something I haven't shown you that you could recommend to me to give a try, then I'd love to hear your recommendations because I'm always looking for new skincare. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. There's also a little bell um, next to the subscribe button and if you press that, you get a notification whenever I upload so you won't miss a video. And yeah, I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye.